Got some leaves starting on the hydrangea. And some tulips starting to open. Uh, maybe tomorrow they'll be open, I think. They're a nice bright red. So the rose bushes have been trimmed down and there's a whole bunch of uh, grape hyacinth down there. Got some primroses. I think that's a form of columbine, but I'm not sure. The succulents did just fine over the winter. Well, actually these aren't ones that really, really need it to be warm. Got some more tulips that are about to open. down all the vining plants it was just getting to be too much um, might put honeysuckle back in if it doesn't come back from its roots hey well the forsythia is in full bloom and the strawberries are starting to put on growth and I don't know how not be able to be in here. Uh, we did not plant them in here. Here's a volunteer, or a couple of volunteer spinach plants from last year. And a whole lot of horsetail. So we're going to have to really go through this dirt and get it out of here. No sign of new grass on the Oh well, wait, I'm wrong. There's a couple green strands. Just a couple green strands of grass. In the zebra grass. Rosemary came back real nice. Got more grape hyacinths and tulips coming up up here. Regular hyacinth. Lemon balls come These are peonies, daylilies with dandelions mixed in. Uh, this is one of the comfrey, another daylily, more daylilies, uh, other comfrey, poppies, more peonies and tulips. And sedums coming up. More lilies. And this is flocks. And that's oregano, so that's how it's doing.